Of the guys, five eight, five ten, or six two, depending on who you talk to. Hold it. Coming through. Give us a move. Whoa, whoa, whoa! That way. Hey, buddy. Now look, somebody stepped in some booze here. I want those footprints before Gurney rolls through them. All right, Tony. Call ESU. Tell them we may want some searchlights outside. Right. Oh, war zone. You put that tie on at three in the morning, or just sleep that way. The bartender. Four shots for the body. How many for the bourbon? Hey, do me a favor. If you don't need to be in here, don't be in here. She's dead. Call one to the head, maybe a wild shot. The others look like ricochet or flying glass. That's two. I got the guy and the girl in ski masks coming in five minutes before closing and wanting the register. The guy did all the shooting. Hey, Sullivan, just do visuals on the slugs. Don't wait for ballistics. Lenny! Frank! This is Mr. Barnes. These are the guys who want me to talk to? Yeah. Helen, Helen Shane, she was the night manager. She's going to the ladies' room, and then she was going to go home right before they came in. Mr. Barnes, so what? Well, this is her bag. I found it by the back door. The, the, the strap is torn. She's not here. What's she look like? Um, dark hair, early 30s. Thank you, Tony. Right, come on. But add that to the alarm. Possible hostage. Now, wake somebody up at BCI. Tell them we want a list of every boy-girl team that ever fired a BB gun. Then what? Uh, then we'll talk to the witnesses some more, see if they can tell us how many colors the masks were. This is Curtis. I hit the dirt. I remember basic training real fast. Just the two of them, huh? Yeah, it was a big man, skinny woman. She stood over by the door, told me not to move. Uh, white folks. Is there another woman with them? Uh, she might have been in the car because the uh, the girl was looking that way. What kind of car? It, it was gray. Old, new, local plates, uh, what? It wasn't new. It was uh, American, maybe Chrysler. Guy took one in the chest and a bonus to the head. Did you see how it happened? I just saw the guy pick up his six-pack and walk toward the counter. Okay, thanks. I guess he didn't have time to order a drink at the club. Well, I'll add the car to the alarm. Hey, maybe we could add something else. Three bodies in 30 minutes. We better get something before they get thirsty again. Well, lab's already doing the blood types from the Vivon room, the nightclub, and they're dusting everything at the deli for prints. Horowitz just called from Helen Shane's apartment. There's nobody there. He's gonna wait out front. Her keys and her wallet weren't in her bag. The perps might decide to walk her home. Get a scratch on that to the borough. ECI has a white MF crew in Jersey currently serving time. Another co-ed pair in Brooklyn, but black. Look how she holds her gun. The recoil would knock her arm into her face. So he's a pro, but she isn't. Hey, you want tall male arm robbers, Lenny? I get you list this thick. <laughs> Excuse me. Detective Curtis? Yeah. Just got your message. South Franks, I own the bib on him. Have you found Helen? No one's seen her, sir. You bring a photo? This is the uh, club softball team. Helen's in the top row. Blow this up. Get it on a wire. Sal, so, can you think of any reason why they'd single Helen out? Was she carrying cash? No. Helen closes out the restaurant till and takes the cash to Willie. It's the bartender. So the robbers hit exactly the right part of the club at exactly the right time, and the woman who handles the cash disappears? If you're thinking Helen was above, forget it. I trust her with my life. Anyone who works for me knows how we cash out. Anyone who works for you might be carrying a grudge or what? To do this. Wait a minute. There's a bouncer, Bryce Royden. He had a thing for Helen. One-sided? Oh, yeah, completely. It got so awkward, I had to fire him. He claimed I owed him four weeks severance. I told him, forget it. Leon and his girlfriend bought one of these. And you know what? I think they bought this one. I told you we haven't seen them. Yeah, I know that's what you told me. That's why you're under arrest for hindering prosecution. Unless you want to tell me right now, where are they? Mike. Shut up! Get him out of here. Then take me, too. Hold it. You know what I don't find in this apartment? Her clothes. Do you live here? You don't live here, do you? Where do you live? Hey! Next block. All right, keep them both inside. Keep them away from the windows and away from the phone. Got a couple of ski masks here. Lots of ammunition. The cigarette's still lit. They walked out in the middle of dinner. Looks like 12 empties. They ran out of beer. All right, they're loose, possibly local. Get all uniforms and units around the corner out of sight. There's a place on the next block to get a six-pack. Ray? 
we'll go in. You guys back us up. Benny. There. Leon, we need coffee. Police, freeze! Ladies, there's 50 cops outside, Leon. Don't do anything foolish. Let her walk away, Leon. Ma'am, you're gonna be all right. One move, lady, and I shoot you in the head. Leon, Leon, why don't you just... <laughs> freeze! Get on the floor! Hey. Down! <laughs> Get down on the floor! Please call my friends! When you get down! They don't know where I am! Please call my parents! Thank God! Thank you! Her parents are here. They drove down from Connecticut. Do we have any proof of her story? Her name is Leslie Harlan. She was kidnapped six months ago in New Salem. Are you McCoy? Are you in charge here? Up to a point. When can we take our daughter home? Mr. Harlan, she was just arrested. You mean rescued and we're very grateful. We just need to understand what happened. Do you know what she's been through? Lieutenant Van Buren was telling me. If you have any questions, call Agent Gill, the Hartford FBI office. She was kidnapped. By Leon Tramp? Yes, and his cousin, Eddie. We paid a ransom. Uh, Agent Gill can tell you. But you were still with Leon? Yeah, Eddie picked up the money. He used it to pay off a gambling debt. <laughs> Leon was so mad, he killed him right in front of me. <laughs> he raped me. He made me stay with him. <laughs> Is he dead? Yes. Can we take her home now? Not today. She's being arraigned on four counts of murder. <laughs>